Can I just ask you, what would it mean to you, um, first game that Old, Tra Old Trafford in the Challenge of Trafford team? Uh, of course you try to keep your emotion in check because uh, I'm there to do a job, I've got to be focused. It's not easy, uh, I, th I don't think it'll be easy but I'm looking forward to it. It's And I think the boys are looking forward to playing at Old Trafford and that's that's the key. We should be looking forward to playing there and I, well, I, I was sat next to uh, René Merlinson in the reserve team game once as a coach, second half. Uh, but it'll be, and I was there at, with Cardiff. But um, of course, it'll be special. Sam, Sam. Sorry. Uh, fans obviously had your banner on Phil today, and they've got another version that's been put up on the strap for them for your game. Uh, David Moy said he was uncomfortable with having his own banner up there. You're a completely different case. Is, does that flatter you, or would you rather earn it, have it back? <laughs> They're the best, best fans in the world. Uh, of course, I've got my history at the club, and. Uh, uh, to, to see that banner is just special uh, and I just hope in the next five months I'll do a good enough job for them to keep singing my name when uh, when someone else uh, gets in there. Chris? Chris, um, looking at the stones, you put the bar too high for Say again? Yeah, looking no. The stones, you put the bar too high for no, because uh, no, uh, you can never set the bar too high. Because they, they're setting the standards. The players that play for this club, they've got uh, high standards to live up to. And today, it's not like they've outperformed themselves, because you cannot uh, outperform yourself. Uh, so uh, we, we want to look at this game, evaluate, look at a few clips. And as I said earlier, we can be better. We can understand each other better. Uh, so it'll be good. There's, there's been times this season when it's looked as though players were frightened or intimidated by playing at Old Trafford. You've played there so often. Did you ever feel that and can you understand how that feeling can occur? Well, that, part, that comes with uh, when you sign for Man United, you know you're going to play in front of the best fans in the world. So I, uh, But, you know, confidence is not something you just go into the fridge and pick. Uh, you earn it by your uh, performances, by your training, how you feel, and hopefully uh, this gave them a boost. So I think they're all looking forward to Boxing Day, to be honest. James. Ollie, um, the previous managers since, since Fergie left, they've had to deal with ex-United players being critical of them and they've been difficult for them. Given that these are your ex-teammates, do you think you're impervious to it or will they still be hard on you? Don't worry, Gary will be really hard on me. I've sat, I've sat next to him in the dressing room for 11 years. He was next to me. And, yeah, you know Gary, uh, of course. And he's paid now to, uh, to give his opinion. And, of course, he should do. Uh, I'm no different to anyone else. I'm no different to any other uh, manager when you, uh, when you lead that team out onto the pitch because it, it, it comes with a responsibility. Uh, but my job is to... I don't play for them. My job is to get the players uh, enjoying themselves. Some great advice. I'm not going to go into what, because uh, the, the lads have been, you know, the, my ex teammates, I've had texts from all of them wishing me all the best and uh, giving me good advice, sound advice, all of them. So, uh, but you just have to. Uh, uh, They'll probably criticise me as well. Don't worry about that. Ollie, the players played as though they had their handbrake released. Have they spoken to you about feeling as though they were constrained in the past? And given the way they performed today, is that the way that you want to approach them? You want them to say yeah? No, they've they've not said anything about uh, any handbrake. Uh, but I we spoke today in a team meeting of when we get one, we want to get two. When you get two, you want to get three, because uh, that, that's just the, the nature of this team, this club that you always go and attack. It's, it's not going to happen every game that you create chances like we did today. You've got to grind it out. But today it, it worked and, uh, you know, with the blis blistering pace that we've got up front you, and they they had to chase the game, then uh, that's... I don't think any team would like to have Rashford, Martial, Lingard, Pogba running at them. So why should we stop them? Not yet. Has he given you any... I've spoken to him, yeah, of course, and uh, with uh, 
he'll hopefully come uh, or I'll go to his or he'll come to me and we'll have a cup of tea because you know he's the boss and uh, if there's anyone who can give me proper advice not my teammates that, uh, that, that's him okay last question do you hope to bring it um, like the attacking The attacking philosophy is in the walls of Man United. That's tradition and that's history. That's how we play. That's how we want to play. Um, so today was a good, uh, good reflection of what we want. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. No injuries. No, no injuries.